the advent of the internet and the information age, as we are calling our current era of history, has been a wonderful thing. And uh, there's a lot of benefits that have come with it. Uh, but I think something that has re really started to rear its ugly head more so in recent years uh, than in the past uh, is this tendency for people to kind of act in a way of arrogance, uh, namely in assuming uh, that they know a lot about everything. Uh, and this ranges from anything from, uh, you know, science to... Uh, even, you know, theology and biblical scholarship, uh, even to, into sports, into all of these types of things. Everybody has an opinion now, and because information is so readily available, uh, you're kind of easily able to pick out certain things that then support that opinion and never really uh, deeper dig into this. And I, I'm going to be honest, I honestly think if there's, that some of the worst areas for this has been the church. Um, and it's this sort of weird combination I see where we have this tendency to be very dismissive of individuals who have actually gone to school and gotten uh, degrees and expertise in this and even telling people not to go and do those types of things, but then to think that our five minute Google search on a topic has now made us, uh, you know, given us the right to <laughs> speak about that with, about whatever topic that is with a lot of authority. And the reality is, is that that type of behavior, uh, it causes a lot of damage. It causes a lot of hurt. Um, so I, I, there's a number of things which I think we need to keep in mind. And uh, the verses that we have for today, Romans 12, 1 through 3, um, they get used a lot as kind of an encouragement for Christians especially to keep their minds uh, focused on God and also to do the research uh, necessary to know about their faith. And I do think that is a very important thing. I do think that we should study, you know, and understand why we believe what we believe. Um, you know, now obviously there is the opposite side of all this where if you can sometimes get too deep and get even more arrogant, but that's not the focus for today. Uh, what I want to talk about is kind of this bizarre anti-intellectualism uh, that we tend to kind of cling to. Uh, and to just kind of point out that it's completely false. Uh, many of the individuals who wrote in Scripture uh, were very highly educated individuals. Paul, who wrote the majority of the New Testament that we have, uh, appears to have been, you know, highly, was highly educated, had an excellent education by the standard of Jewish rabbis. He, he even talked about it. Uh, and it did help him in his ministry. Uh, there is no shame, and I think this is important to understand, there is no shame in going and getting an education uh, to then go into ministry. And I think that that is an important thing for all of us to keep in mind. We should be open to going out and getting research, uh, you know, reading, doing our reading, going and getting the necessary education for whatever we are pursuing, even if it's something like ministry, where a lot of times speaking from the heart is the most effective uh, way of doing things. Uh, but I don't believe that that should ever be an excuse for you not to go out and know your stuff. Um, and on a more personal level, I think that we also need to kind of, you know, take a step back and really look in the mirror with ourselves and understand that we can't know everything and we can't be an expert on everything. And I'll be honest, this is something that I am very bad at. I have opinions on many things, and I typically act in a way, and have, especially in the past, acted in a way where I believe that, you know, because I've done a five-minute Google search, my opinion is incredibly valid and better than anybody else's. Uh, but I do think it is important for us to kind of keep in perspective that with a lot of these larger topics, uh, there has been years and years and years of study on just that specific thing, and even if you have a doctorate's degree, you're really just scratching the surface on the level of thoughts that are thought that has gone on in there. Um, you know that that is something. You know, uh, one of the things which I noticed in the brief time that I was attending grad school is how you know, like when you really think about the larger topic you are studying 
how small you really are in terms of that. That there are just so many people who are way smarter than you, uh, who have contributed to it, and if you're lucky, you'll be able to do something like that as well. Um, so where else does this apply? Well, I do think very especially when it comes to the pandemic we're in, um, we do need to trust the scientists. And that might step on some toes with some people out there. I know there might be some people who are going to turn me off when I say this. But the reality is, is you know, it, when somebody has gone to school and has studied these topics and has done a lot of research on these topics they do tend to know more about what they're talking about uh, than any of us out there. Uh, so we should have a level of trust and willingness to listen to them instead of just dismissing them because they're saying something that we don't necessarily want to hear. Um, I, and I do think that is very important. And, you know, and I think that that is something that we need to keep in mind. And going even a little bit further with that, if you are an expert in a certain topic, uh, understand that that doesn't mean you're an expert in all topics. Uh, there is this idea of staying in your lane, uh, which is something which I do think in academia we sometimes kind of forget about. And, you know, and even amongst ourselves, we tend to forget about. Uh, you know, that if you haven't really studied something, uh, you probably shouldn't be talking like you're the authoritative uh, expert on that. Uh, and I think for us, as we're dealing with all these issues in this world, this is an important thing to keep in mind. This is something that we should approach. Now, this does not mean that your opinion is, uh, you know, unimportant. Uh, I would say, though, that if you are not an expert in a topic and you want to have a well-informed opinion in it, you should do significant research on that topic and try to get resources from both sides. Engage with sources that you disagree with and be open to the possibility that you're wrong. Because the reality is, is no individual, unless you're, you know, Jesus, uh, ha is going to be right about every single thing in the world. We're all going to be wrong about really big things in all likelihood. And this is, you know, if you look back in the past, you can see this. You can see incredibly smart individuals uh, who held beliefs that were just not right. <laughs> and we're all guilty of this. So I, I think especially now as we're dealing with a lot of these struggles in our country, that is a, something that we need to keep in mind. That we need to keep in mind that, it, you know, we're not all experts on every little thing. And that's okay. Uh, and I do believe that if we do that, if we go about that, uh, we will be able to overcome a lot of these issues and problems that we are facing. And that we'll have a more sane society as well. Uh, and that will help us all as a whole.